welcome to the teacher, teachers, welcome to you students. Our training lesson today in unit two, lesson one. Student, student's book, page 16. We have three activities. The first activity is words and pictures. The second activity, listening to two people talking. The third activity is a grammar. We have expectation of using should and shouldn't. We come to the title or the topic of our lesson. It is law and order. What does the mean? What does the law, the word law mean? Who can give me the meaning? Ma'na. Yes. Yes. Very good. It is law in English. Law. Law means system of rules used by a particular country or community to regulate the actions of people by imposing laws. Order, the word order, what does this mean? Who can tell me? Yes? Order, yes, very good, thank you. The word order means command or instructions of an authority. Yani, Omar Sultan. Yes. We have words, and you see it on the whiteboard. I want, I want you to match these words with the pictures after I explaining the meaning of these words. And you, these words, compound nouns. We call it compound nouns. The title match the words and the pictures. I'm going to explain the meaning and ask you about some of them. Footprint. What does this mean? Yes? Let me. Yes? Yes? In English, it means footprint mean impression or a trace or a mark left by food on a surface or on the ground. Yes. The second one, fingerprint. Yes, who knows? Yes, the last one, yes. Yes, finger, basmat. Alibham. Finger, it is a mark. It is a mark or impression or trace on the surface or on the sometimes on the ground or on paper. Yes. Number three, radar speed gun. What does this mean? Yes? Okay, yes, very good. Radar, it is a system. Radar is a system or an advice used to check the speed of cars when the drivers move their cars very fast. This device can check the speed. The fourth one, metal detector. What does this mean, metal detector? Yes? Yes, Kashif al This is an electronic advice used to check the metal, the hidden metal. It is used by officers sometimes and it is used in many places to protect people. X-ray machine, number five, X-ray machine. What does this mean? You can tell me. Yes? Yes, very good. It is a machine. It is a machine can check the hidden things by taking pictures or recording pictures. It is used in airports, at airports, and sometimes, and we have very 
Uh, we have a lot of them in the hospitals. You can see them there. Security camera. <coughs> yes, security camera. Yeah, you, now. Huh? Yes, it is a camera used to record videos. Uh, it is used in front of many houses. It's, it is used in uh, uh, checkpoint, military checkpoints on the road and so on. Uh, seven, crime scene. Crime scene. What does it mean? Yes, you. Yes. The crime scene means a location or a place, location or a place where the crime was happened. Number eight, a speed limit. Who can give me the meaning of speed limit? Yes, the last one. Yes, you. Yes, speed limit. Yes, surah. المحددة. speed limit. السرعة المحددة. In English, so in English, we can say about it the maximum speed fixed on roads, on streets, to check the speed of some cars. Security guard. Yes, security guard. Yes, الحارس الأمني. Security guard is a person, can be, can be a woman, can be a man. He is responsible to protect people, to protect buildings. This is his duty. Yes. Now, we have pictures. We have pictures. I'll give you three minutes to check the answer. And I want each one from a group. You are three groups. I, I need one from each group to give me the answer. Yes. To rush with God. Yes. Okay, come here. Come here. Check your answer. A. Number C. 
six, security camera. Yes. B, footprint. Number one, footprint, yes. Good. Three, radar speed gun. Uh, number seven, sorry, crime scene. Crime scene, which number? Yes, seven. This is correct. Two, D, number four. Yes, good. E, number eight. F, number five. Yes. G, two, nine, three. Excellent. You are very good students. Now, I'm going to shift to listening. And after that, I will ask you some questions about it. This is finished. Listen to two people talking and I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Section four. Now listen to two people talking. I used to drive too fast. I thought speeding was fun and I didn't realize how dangerous it was. Then one day, I drove by a police car. The speed limit was 110, but I was driving much faster. The police officers had a radar gun, and they knew I was driving too fast. They pulled me over and gave me a speeding ticket. I was about to leave when one of the officers gave me a piece of paper. It was a photo from a newspaper that showed a fire car crash. It was terrible. The police officer told me it happened because someone was speeding. I realized that by driving too fast, I could get hurt and hurt other people too. So I decided never to speed again. If I want to go fast, I can go on a roller coaster. You can get a lot of information from a crime scene. Footprints can tell you what type of shoes a thief was wearing, how big his feet are, and even how tall he is. Sometimes we find fingerprints. A person can leave fingerprints if his hands are dirty. Then the fingerprints are easy to find. But people leave fingerprints even when their hands are clean. We can see them only after putting a special powder on them. Matching fingerprints used to be difficult. Now it's much easier because computers can do a lot of the work. Yes. Now open your books on page 95. You can read it. And then I will ask you. هدف هذا سمعته هسه موجود في الكتاب <تصفيق> كتاب 95 سيكشن enough we have a question about this what's the first speaker the first speaker yes he is the driver he is a driver the first speaker is a driver what's the second speaker the second speaker yes he is a police officer. Yes, he is a police officer. What did the driver do? What did the driver used to do? What did the driver used to do? Yes? He used to, to do the driver uh, too fast. A driving too fast, yes, very good. Yes. What did the driver do one day? Can you tell me? What did the driver do one day? 
Yes. So uh, he drive uh, he drive a police. Yes. He drove by a police car. Very good, excellent. Yes. What was the speed limit? You hear the speed limit? Yes. It was 100. Yes. 100. 110. Yes. What did the police officer have? Yes. The last one? Yes. Radar speed gun. Yes. Radar speed gun. What can footprint tell you? Footprint. When you find footprint on the surface of a, or a ground, on the, on the ground on the surface, what does this tell you? Footprint. Yes. See? Yeah. No. The footprint. The footprint. What can tell you? Tell you three things. Yes, who can, who can give me the answer, correct answer? No problem if you. Yes? You can? The footprint can. Leave it to me. The footprint can tell you how tall, how tall the thief is. How tall his feet are. Yes. How can the how can the police officer see how can the police officer see the fingerprint by putting by putting by putting powder special powder on them on the uh, on the place of the fingerprints. So I I left grammar. We have expectation. A grammar. We have grammar expectation on page. 30, 34, and also you have exercise on your activity book on page 43. 43, it's multiple choice, but this, no.
I'm going to answer this question for you, and then you will give me answer of the second question of this. This sentence, you have always wanted to fly, it is cause. It is cause. I think, I like, I think you will like the, yeah, for example, الجوية هاي جملة سبب وهاي جملة expectation yes expect or expectation means I think and you cannot use two expectation two words about expectation the same the same sentence so this word should be or this clause should be omitted we Use yes. You use should instead of will. Should here we use should. So you have two model auxiliaries, and you cannot use should a model auxiliary and will a model auxiliary one after the other. So you can you cannot use should will. So use. Should instead of what? This is the answer. The answer, you have always wanted to fly. You should like the Air Force. The second sentence, the second sentence. I have studied, I have studied hard on the test. So, I think, I think, I'll I'll pass. Expectation. Fit. 
Nation. Should or shouldn't? Can you give me the answer? Yes? You? Yes? Thank you.